So I just wanted to uh, do a quick update on the boards and how they are now. Uh, I'm just going to show them basically, not going to talk too much. Uh, and then hopefully I'll make some more videos and I'll cover uh, the changes and everything that I've done and, and how to do it. Just I really want to uh, just show people how easy it is to make stuff like this or to mod your own and uh, get, get a lot more out of these uh, caster boards because if you're not up for complete custom work and making your own caster board nearly from scratch or using a million other caster boards for parts um, it's not that hard at all to get stuff like this sorry for the lighting um, this is my main caster board that I'm using now uh, it's just basically using a um, a design from one of the ripsticks where they don't use the uh, those little grips those I don't know what to refer to them as um, the little beaded grips right there on one of the ripsticks they actually come out and uh, and they lay down on a flat surface and um, I'm not sure if it means anything to anyone, but uh, it's a V2, I believe. You can see on the bottom, the deck says V2. Uh, and so I took out, I've been thinking about putting it back in, but I took out this one on the front and on the back because uh, I wanted to shave some weight and I didn't really want to mess with the look. I really like having that completely flat look, but the front rattles when you get some speed. So uh, I'm considering shaving this down a bit more so I can stop the rattling while not having uh, the imprint of that grip on the front. And then I sanded down the side pieces that fit in here so that I could put grip tape on those as well. And it's not, as grippy as say doing it like this like um, those beaded grips or whatever seem to give it a bit more stick so that you can't move your foot at all and I don't like that I like being able to adjust the position of my footing so that's why I like having just that perfect grip right there um, but this isn't bad uh, and then so I, I basically took this blade board that I found. It's discontinued. Uh, I had it in the backyard. It was completely rusted. I don't think anyone would have said, oh yeah, that's uh, fixable or it'll ever be in a running condition. But I managed to spend a few days busting my ass to get it working again because I really like this 3D caster design. Uh, 3D, uh, 360 caster design with the, the spring on it so I wanted to tinker with it have some fun so I fixed it up and I'm using a ripstick uh, torsion bar but um basically this is uh, ripstick components for the most part and on the top is custom shaved as much weight as I could and then I'm using the um, I forget what they're called the little cushions and the uh, is it the aluminum? The, the lighter weight, um, uh, what's it called? Casters, and then my uh, favorite wheels with a, a harder one in the back and a softer one in the front just for a smoother ride. This is my like um, trekking board. It's a uh, long distance traveling and just really smooth, comfortable riding with the uh, most. Uh, what do you call it? It's the torsion bar that has like the strongest resistance, whatever you want to call it. It's the hardest to uh, move, basically, like to bend. So it's easy to get up some speed. It's a lot smoother to balance on. Um, or well, I mean, yes and no on both. It's kind of hard to explain. Whereas this one is using uh, the original torsion bar from this board that I mentioned which is why I, I am including this board in the video because it's actually a lot shorter and it's pretty stiff and I mean it's not as stiff as, as say on that board but it's actually really really nice 
and um, the shorter, like the fact that the torsion bar is shorter and makes the the board shorter feels really nice for kind of a trick speedy excel style uh, caster board and um, right now I'm using the larger wheels that I have what are they um 80 millimeter yeah the 80 millimeter wheels as opposed to the standard uh, 72 or 74 wheels depending on what you prefer um, which would be better for the whole goal of this board for something that's quick, light, easy to speed up with, and then like have fun doing little tricks because it's a lot more nimble. It's a lot easier to mess around with, but it's not very good for going uphill or doing any of that kind of cruising style stuff. But yeah, that's both boards. This one weighs, I think, it's 8.2 pounds. And this one weighs uh, 6.8 or 7 pounds with all the weight shaving and everything. So they're both really, really nice. And not much hard work at all. The hardest work was actually cleaning everything and making sure it was back to like original condition, if not better. So yeah.